Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Casey. Today on Mustangs Explore the Falls, we're doing a food truck tour and exploring three food trucks near the MSU Texas campus. Right now we're at our first location, which is Chickadee's, a drive through waffle and coffee truck. And I personally love their waffles. I don't know if you've ever had one. I have not ever had one, so I'm really excited to try this. You're in for a treat. They are delicious. I am so excited. I've heard so much stuff about Chickadee's, but I have never been able to find it myself. So I'm super excited to be able to try this. Chickadees is actually partially known for their seasonal menu. They love to change out and do things along with holidays and seasons and their drinks also correspond. Are you going to try some of their coffee? Um, I usually go for their energy drinks. I like to have a little amped up fruity flavor. Um, so that's usually where I hit my stops. I got a churro waffle, which is basically cinnamon sugar with some caramel sauce on it, and it looks delicious, and I cannot wait to dig in. I got the strawberries and cream waffle, and it's got this chocolate drizzle on top, along with whipped cream and strawberries, and I'm super excited to see how it tastes. Final thoughts, I... I have always loved their waffles, so coming back to do this little video was just like another time that I got to try something new and kind of create a little bit of a repertoire for what I like here and adding churro to the list, which is something they change out pretty often. They have it quite frequently. I loved it. The cinnamon sugar was perfect. What about yours? I personally loved mine as well. I love the chocolate drizzle with the strawberries. I thought it'd be a little bit too sweet, but surprisingly it is not. Mm. So it's super flavorful, really well done. And again, it's a big waffle. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. You get a lot for your money. Right, yeah, they are massive waffles, which is great, but you can also downsize to a small and just have half, which is great if you're just looking for something quick and don't want to eat a massive Belgian waffle. Um, drinks. I love the little energy drinks. They really get me going for the start of my day, um, which they're usually only open for breakfast, so it's perfect in the mornings. What about yours? Mine was super nice. It's very refreshing. Very refreshing. Not too sugary. And it's just incredible. I don't know what I was expecting, but it exceeded all of my expectations. So absolutely incredible. I come back for the drinks alone. at our next stop, which is Tacos y Tortas El Palón, and they are known for their Tacos y Tortas. <laughs> um, I am really excited to try the Al Pastor Torta. And me personally, I am so excited to try the Asada Tortas. Let's go. Final thoughts were, I thought the taste of the food was incredible. I have to completely agree. I thought it was an amazing taste. I thought all the flavors blended together really, really well. Yeah. And the salsa on top. The salsa made the meal. Definitely recommend. Um, it was also surprisingly affordable for how much we got. I mean, that was such a large portion it's size. Huge. I was expecting maybe something like that. Big. Right. And to get an entire heart Huge. that was a little heart shaped, shaped <laughs> torta. It was yes. impressive. And then I love the atmosphere. Location is great. You know, it's nice and fenced in. Tons of lighting, outdoor seating, always a plus. All right, we'll see you at our next stop. Hey, we're at our final stop, which is El Norteño Taco Trek. It's 10 minutes from campus, and I am super excited to get tacos. I have been here so many times, and the tacos are great every time. I am super excited for tacos as well. I'm thinking the carnita tacos, in all mm. honesty. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Let's right. go. Right, 
final thoughts, I ended up getting two tacos, one asada and one al pastor. I think that they had amazing flavor. I love street tacos, so this is definitely one on the top of my list. And what did you think? I have to agree, this is one that's right on the top of my list as well. I had three tacos. I had one carnitas, one al pastor, and one carne asada. And every single one of them was absolutely amazing. One of the best carne asada tacos I've ever had in my life. The carnitas was cooked perfectly and had tremendous flavor. And the El Pastor was just incredible. Mm -hmm. And that green salsa, man, ooh, right on top of it, it hit the spot. It's some of the best green salsa I've ever had in my life. And what did you think of the horchata? Oh my gosh, it was incredible. This is the best horchata I have ever had. And that is saying a lot. Because awesome. I have tried many, I'm a huge sucker for chata, and it was just absolutely incredible. Perfect amount of cinnamon, mm -hmm. not overpowering, good flavor, and did taste watered down. Awesome, I hate it when they're watered down. I hate it, yeah. If you have any recommendations for food trucks that we should try in the future, leave a comment down below. That's it for this episode of Mustangs Explore the Falls. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the MSU Texas YouTube channel. See you next time. That was so fun. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. I love it.